Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Spark interview questions, today we'll look at what is window function in Spark. It is one of the most uh, complicated uh, functionality in Spark. We'll try to understand it. So guys, what is window function? In very simple definition, window functions are like any other operations or calculations. The only difference here is that we can apply uh, windows function over a group of records and we can produce return values for each and every row in the record so it is so if you can see it here that they are different uh, from the other group based uh, functions like aggregate functions they are also operated on a group of records but they'll produce one single return value for all the records like summation right like average but window functions are different they can be applied over a group of records and can produce that return value for each and every record in those in that group of records right so when window function uh, are executed they will produce and or we can say they will compute a return value for each and every row in the window window is nothing but that group of records on which we are applying the windows function so windows function uh, basically help us in dealing these situations or doing the calculations like uh, finding the rank of different records uh, within one particular group or say trying to calculate the say moving average over the range of given input rows right and uh, one uh, beautiful aspect about the windows function is uh, they significantly improve the ex expressiveness of spark sql and data frame apis we'll look in the next uh, next slide how they uh, increase the expressiveness and why they are uh, introduced in the apache spark world what are the specific areas uh, they cover so guys why window function uh, as we have as I've already said the context but let's try to uh, see it from the design uh, perspective so if you see uh, two kind of functions were already available in the spark right first are your uh, built-in functions like substring round which will take input a single row and produce a single return value for that particular row. one is to one one row is given you're trying to find a substring of say uh, record uh, one record for say column one you can pass in that uh, you know, record value and you will get the return value so it's like one input one output second kind of scenarios as we have discussed are the aggregate functions like you give many inputs like a group of records uh, in that in that group there will be number of records and the output value return value would be a single value like the summation or the average you pass the five columns and then you trying to find out the sum or average so these are two kind of functions which were already available in apache spark but windows function is trying to cater the third scenario wherein we'll pass in the group of records as an input to be operated upon and the output would be that there will be a return value for each and every row in that row group so that is the third scenario which is a combination of first two scenarios first two scenarios uh, one input one output exist multiple inputs in a form of row groups single output like a summation and average exists but this third scenario in the form of windows function is, is a combination of these two input is taken in the form of uh, rows of uh, rows group the output is return value for each row in that group right uh, now let's try to understand one terminology uh, frame or window uh, this is nothing uh, but it's a group of uh, it's a group of rows on which you gonna apply the windows function so it is known as frame or window in the windows function terminology um, now we need to understand that there are three kind of windows functions are available in the apache spark world uh, ranking kind of function we look uh, what are the different operations uh, which comes under ranking functions and then second category is analytical functions and third category is aggregate functions 
let's see uh, the different uh, examples uh, for these different categories of uh, windows function ranking function like we want to calculate rank dense rank uh, percent rank row number etc analytical functions are you know, like you want to calculate the first value in that group last value uh, lag and lead which probably give you the offset of you know uh, before row or after row uh, where you're trying to analyze maybe based on positions or other values third category is the aggregate functions aggregate functions are the common uh, aggregate functions available these also could be applied on a window or a frame and thus could act as a windows function now let's see uh, so to make any operation like we're talking about aggregate function if we'll have to make them work as windows function so we'll have to use the over clause so like we see in the green, green color font a written example suppose i want to try uh, trying uh, trying to apply it say dense rank on one particular window which is specified as window spec in the windows function we'll check what is windows windows spec but now uh, understand or assume it that it is this window group of rows on which we want to apply a function say dense rank and uh, the clause here we used to make uh, dense rank as a windows function or to say uh, implement as a windows function we'll have to use a clause called over right so this is how you can turn any simple aggregate function like instead of dense rank if i want to use sum in the next example i've used sum column name over windows pack so that's how you will transform a simple aggregate function into an aggregate window function now let's try to understand uh, the syntax of it suppose we create a data set we have a data set uh, which has got two columns id and bucket and then we are trying to create a window spec uh, window spec is nothing but it is uh, the group of rows on which we are trying to apply any window operation right so we uh, and uh, there are the two ways to create a window spec a window spec a window spec uh, is known as window specification in the apache swart work the the full abbreviation for window spec is window specification so we can use two major operations to create a window spec one is the partition by and second is the order by partition by will decide that how many uh, which all rows will make part of which particular partition uh, which particular group and order by will define the positioning of the rows in that particular group right uh, so then once the window spec is created then we can again use over clause and call the specific function on this window spec or group of windows which is group of rows created so let's try to understand uh, some more uh, characteristics of window spec so as uh, uh, we have discussed in the previous slide uh, window spec uh, you know uh, can be created using partition by and order by so primarily any window specification includes three part one is the partition which is achieved by using partition by this is tell like which all records are in the same partition right so if you are partitioning say on a particular column value so all the rows which would have the same column value will fall into the one group or one partition right second is the ordering which obviously as the name suggests and we are all aware of define the position of rows order of row or position of row in that particular partition which is created third way uh, third part of the window specification is what we call as the frame frame is used in the scenario where you're trying to create a set of rows based on the position of the rows and saying the uh, the the previous uh, three previous rows or say next previous rows to the current row so the here you are trying to make a group from the fact that say your current row is on on row number 4 then you can say i want to create a group say, say from row number 1 to row number 4 right then this particular uh, window spec would have four records say from row number 1 to row number 4 so this is how you can define uh, the window spec as well which is called as the uh, third part of the window specification as frame so guys uh, 
these are uh, some uh, of the you know aspects of window specifications in very simple term it is a group of records over which you want to apply the windows operation so once again we'll look at the syntax we have a data set we have created a window specification window spec using the partition by and the order by and then we call this specific uh, windows function over this window spec right so guys that's it in this video about windows specification have a good day bye bye